One thing you can do in Flinto is open up the preview window and click the record button. Then you interact with your prototype and press the record button again to stop it and you can save a video which you can share with people. And a lot of people have asked us to add a GIF export option so that they can save their videos as a GIF, an animated GIF. And I'd always ask, why do you want that? And the answer is frequently that they want to post it on Dribbble. And I'd also like to post things on Dribbble, but if you just export a GIF, it's going to be the wrong size unless you are creating it already at the Dribbble size. Too much work. So I knew that if we were going to do this, we'd have to do it right and make a full Dribbble integration. So that's what we did. In Flinto 24, we have this new feature. So you can go to the preview, hit record, and just interact with your prototype. So we'll just scroll this back and forth and hit record again to stop it. So now you have a GIF option. You can save this as a GIF instead of a movie. But if you want to post it to Dribbble, click on the Dribbble tab, and here you can compose your Dribbble shot. One thing you can do is you can trim this. So I want to get rid of some of the stuff I did at the end to make this a bit shorter. And it's important that you make these short because Dribbble has a size limit, and these are GIFs. You don't want them to be really huge. It's going to take forever to load it. So I'll trim it like that, and let's play this. It'll loop here so I can see what it looks like, make sure that I have a seamless loop. Now I can change the background color. So I think I'll sample this header color and then go in here and lighten it up a bit. Okay, now I have the fit option selected, but you can also choose fill, which makes it fill the entire area and you can drag it up and down to get it positioned just like you want it. Or the 3D option, which shows this 3D perspective view of your screen. So I think that looks cool but I want to go with a little bit darker of a background. Let's see how that looks. And let's put in a description. Cool, now I'll click Publish on Dribbble. Flinto will generate a GIF, upload it to Dribbble, and you can click the button to view it on the Dribbble website. We love seeing people's Flinto work on Dribbble, and now it's a lot easier to post it, so hopefully we'll see a lot more and you can get some inspiration, share what you're working on, and I think it'll be pretty fun. So go download Flinto version 24 with the new Dribble integration.